This video is how I do my foundation. Step one is to apply primer. This is Urban Decay All Nighter 24 hour primer. This will help keep everything locked on and provide a very smooth foundation for everything to go on top of. After that, I apply a drop of my foundation to the back of my hand. I'm using All Hours Foundation in the shade BR30. This is by YSL Cosmetics. Once you have your foundation on the back of your hand, you want to take a setting spray. This is the All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay. I find this works really well with the primer as well. And you take a spray and you spray it onto the foundation. This will help everything stay longer and it'll help your foundation become more waterproof. There are a couple of different ways to apply your foundation. I use a makeup sponge. I find this gives me the smoothest finish. It gives me the most coverage with the least amount of product. But another alternative is to use a flat blending brush like this or a foundation brush. All three of these will work in a pinch, but I do recommend makeup sponge. So once you have the foundation on your hand and you have your setting spray applied, you're going to take your, uh, your makeup brush or your makeup sponge, you're going to dip it in the product just a little bit, and then you're going to apply that product in an outward motion from the center of your face. You want to make sure that you're not applying too much product in one time, because if you do, you're going to put too much emollient, which is the thing that mixes the product on your face, and it's going to get very streaky, and you're going to have a lot of like transfer, and it's going to smear easier. It's just not going to be as evenly applied to your skin. So you really want to make sure that you're taking very small bits at a time and blending from the center of your face outwards. You can see I'm taking just a little bit at a time and I'm working it from the corner, from the center of my mouth outwards, from the center of my face outwards. So as you can see, it might take a little bit longer to apply this way, but it's going to give you a much smoother foundation. It's going to give you a lot more transfer resistance, um, you, meaning your makeup isn't going to rub off on as many surfaces as easily. It's going to stay a lot longer. Um, it's just going to last longer throughout the day, and it's just going to look a lot smoother and more of like an airbrushed finish. So I really recommend using a makeup brush for this, or makeup sponge for this. Um, these things, and getting a good one um, is also important. You don't want to get one of the ones from Walmart. They will just give you a bad experience. You really want to at least go to like Ulta and get something there. Um, there is a huge difference in the quality. Um, so if you have tried a really bad makeup sponge, um, it was the sponge, it wasn't you. Yeah, that about wraps up my foundation step. Um, after this, I would still normally apply some contour and concealer 
and then some highlighter on top of that. So I'm just gonna finish off the look real quick and I'm gonna time lapse this up. Um, if you want me to explain this in a future video, please comment or you know leave, let me know in the comment section and you know I can definitely touch more on those things in the future. One more thing, if you are doing um, color correcting, you would obviously do it before you actually apply the foundation. Um, I normally use like a red or an orange color corrector to cover off any facial hair if that's something that you're struggling with. Um, you know, it can definitely be something that you might want to apply, you know, maybe a layer of color correcting and then, you know, have your liquid foundation and then maybe even have like a powder setting spray or powder foundation on top of that depending on how bad the facial hair is. Just making sure that your foundations from your powder foundation and your liquid foundation are compatible so you're not getting too much cakiness is going to be important. But for the rest of this I'm just going to finish up my look and I hope you enjoy. And there you go, that's the finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed and I am looking forward to seeing y'all next time. Let me know if there's any comments or anything you want me to cover in the comment section and I will touch on that in my future videos. Thanks again.